Welcome back to my channel. This is All Things Mia Joy, and today I'm also doing a story time. I just kind of, um, if you guys haven't seen my video already, I, um, my last video, which I'll link it somewhere up here. And um, I basically talked about how I became a orthodontic assistant. And that's such a good video. So make sure you go watch that before you watch this. It's okay, go ahead, click out, and then come right back. I wanna tell you guys about the time I worked for a orthodontist who was not so nice who was very mean, very arrogant, very rude, very um, just not a nice person at all. So I'm gonna tell my story. Of course, I won't be using actual names because that's not very professional and yeah it doesn't really matter so if you watch my first video um on how i um, became a orthodontic assistant i talked about how the first doctor i worked for passed away and a different orthodontist took over actually bought his practice and um i'll back up a little bit so once um Dr. Teacher passed away. Um, different orthodontists and stuff were coming into the practice to see if they wanted to buy it and just kind of um, kind of get a feel for things. And so we had different orthodontists coming in and checking the place out and checking us out and seeing how everything was running. And a orthodontist right out of school finished dental school came and he was very um very good looking to me at least he was very like handsome and so we'll call him um dr arrogant because that's just who he who he was and who he is still is um so he came and of course, at first, people don't really show you who they are. They're nice to you at first. Um, and then over time, you get to see how they are. I'll tell you about the time where um, we had a patient. And I can't remember the exact procedure that we were doing. But when you're working in the mouth, we don't deal with a whole bunch of blood, but we do deal with blood because you're working in the mouth, you're messing with the teeth, you're messing with the gums, and there can be blood. So Dr. Arrogant had on this white smock, and if you're not sure, sure what that is, it's kind of like a lab jacket. And you're supposed to wear a lab jacket so that you don't get stuff on your scrubs. And then you take it off and you have it cleaned. Anyways, so this particular patient, I can't remember the exact procedure we were doing on the patient. But the patient had um, blood. And the blood got on Dr. Arrogant's jacket on his smock. And, you know, I'm over there doing suction and, you know, just trying to keep all the saliva. I think we were bonding. Maybe we were doing laser. I can't remember exactly what we were doing, but it caused some blood. And so the doctor stops, Dr. Arrogant stops and looks at me and says, look what you did. You got blood all over my jacket. So you're going to pay for my dry cleaning. And me, I'm like, what? He's like, so you're going to pay for my dry cleaning, right? And I just kind of look like, why is he talking to me like that in front of the patient? Like, I didn't mean to get blood on your um, 
on your jacket like that's why you wear it so you don't get it on your scrubs but of course like um usually orthodontists wear like um if they're not wearing scrubs they'll wear like a button-up shirt or something and a tie and i just was kind of taken back like hmm like i'm gonna pay for his dry cleaning but i never did just to so you guys know just to clarify i never did that i was not paying for his dry cleaning like why would you say that to me it wasn't my fault that you got blood on your stuff like that wasn't me and so i was just like okay so that's one incident um and then usually in orthodontics we do procedures called bonding and basically with bonding you're passing instruments you know taking instruments passing and if you watch my one video I talked about how um, here at my new practice that I'm I had to get used to not snatching because usually you're just kind of taken from the doctor given to the doctor taken from the doctor given to the doctor and um, I've had several occasions with Dr. Arrogant where he would just like if it wasn't the right instrument he would just throw it like and you're just kind of like, okay, like my bad. Because as an assistant, you're supposed to know what the doctor wants, but he was new. <laughs> he was new working with me. So you just don't be rude. And so I was like, how can somebody be so good looking, but so rude, say rude comments, say rude things, just so arrogant like i just remember getting fed up and i've never just not showed up to work like i would never not just show up but one day i was just like i can't deal with this anymore and i didn't show up to work i didn't go and the office manager had called me we'll call her um blondie <laughs> office manager blondie she uh she was really nice though um but she just asked me where i was and i said i wasn't coming in and she said you're not coming back and i said no i'm not coming back and that was that was a wrap for me because one you're not going to embarrass me in front of the patients two you're not going to be throwing instruments or snatching from me Three, just because you think you look good on the outside does not make you look good on the inside. And so what I learned from that experience is just you can't let anyone treat you any kind of way. First of all, you are there for the patients, right? As assistants, we are there for the patients. We are there for patient care. We are there to set a high standard. Um, no one... and to all the assistants watching this video because I've heard people say that they hate being a dental assistant. Um, you have to know your standards. First of all, no one is paying you enough money. I don't care if you're making $20 an hour or $15 an hour or $5 an hour. I don't care what you're making. But nobody has the right to treat you, mistreat you any kind of way like they, I mean, no one has the right to mistreat you. No one has the right to treat you any kind of way. I don't care if they have doctor in front of their name or if they're just um, a patient or whatever, whatever the case may be. No one has the right to mistreat you no one has the right to throw instruments no one has the right to embarrass you in front of patients because when once a doctor does that once a doctor thinks that they're so much higher up than you because they have a degree or they have their name on the door or the building or whatever the case may be and they decide to embarrass you or make you look bad that makes them look bad that doesn't make you look bad that makes them look bad and like I said, you have to set the standards for how you want to be treated. I mean, I've worked, like I said, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but this is my third orthodontic office that I have have worked at. And 
Um, and I've worked with several different doctors, several different personalities. I have so many stories I could tell y'all that is crazy. And um, you just have to know what you're worth. Like nobody has the right to mistreat you, you know? They don't have the right to talk to you any kind of way. And if you let them do that, they're gonna be like, okay, well, she allows it. And if you don't know your worth, they they won't know your worth. And I was just not staying there. And like I said before is I'm good at what I do. I'm good with patience. I know that I'm good. Like I know that I am the bomb.com. Like you can't tell me, girl, you don't know what you're doing. Girl, you this and that. Nope, you can't tell me nothing. Why? Because I know what I'm doing. I'm very knowledgeable in all the procedures that I do. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I bring to the practice. I know that I'm very respectful and I'm not being um, cocky. I know who I am and you just... You just can't let any, like I said, you just can't let anybody mistreat you because if they do, what's the point, you know? What's the point of going to work every day and being miserable or dreading it? Like, you know what, I, like what I'm saying? Like, you don't pay me enough to be mean because <laughs> I'm not ghetto. I'm not going to um, get disrespectful or jump back at you. I'm just going to throw up the deuces like this. And I'm going to get my bag and I'm going to walk out the door and I'm going to leave because somebody will value me. Like I've worked with so, like I said, I've worked with so many different doctors and so many different personalities. Like, no, 